Is your PC facing a blue screen with an inaccessible boot device error? There are several reasons for this kind of blue screen error. In this video, you will know the causes and fixes of inaccessible boot device error in Windows 10. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. The causes of inaccessible boot device blue screen error. This error happens when Windows couldn't access the system partition. There could be several reasons, which include faulty installation of the Windows newest update, outdated inaccurately configured or incompatible drivers, new or old hardware that is conflicting with the latest Windows update, either the whole hard drive might have corrupted or the partition where Windows is installed. Another reason could be the malware infection. The malware might have corrupted the system files or drivers. Sometimes inaccessible boot device error can also appear because of the loose cable connection of the hard disk. How to fix an inaccessible boot device error. Before starting any fixes, you need to check the cable connection of the hard drive. Make sure it is not loose. If you have a laptop, remove the hard drive. Clean the connection port with tissue paper and then insert it in the slot. Also, remove any newly attached hardware. If the loose cable connection or the new hardware is the cause of the issue, you will know that. If you are still facing the blue screen error, follow the fixes. Enable AHCI mode in BIOS. AHCI mode provides advanced features to the SATA interface. Some hard drives couldn't function if the AHCI mode is not enabled. To enable it, you need to open the BIOS settings of your PC. Press F2 or Delete key when booting the system. Check your system manual or internet to know the key for entering BIOS. Once you are in BIOS, locate the advanced options. Then set AHCI mode. Now turn the AHCI mode value to enabled. Save the settings and quit. Restart the PC and check. If your PC is continuously rebooting by flashing the blue screen error, don't worry. After a couple of reboots, the system will go into automatic repair mode. In this mode, you will see Restart in Advanced Options. Now go to Advanced Options. If you can't reach this options page, hold the Shift key while booting. If you still can't reach here, you will need to boot from a Windows 10 CD or USB drive. The link for instructions to create a bootable Windows 10 USB or CD is in the description. Pause this video and create bootable media, then boot the error encountering PC with that media. You will see Press Any Key to Boot from CD or DVD. Press Any Key. Enter your preferences and click Next. Now click on Repair Your PC, then go to Troubleshoot, then select Advanced Options. Here you will see a couple of options to fix the issue. System Restore. If your PC has a system restore point, you could use it to restore Windows, which might fix the issue. System Image Recovery. This option tries to recover the Windows with an image file. If there is an image file, you can recover the Windows. Startup Repair. The Startup Repair tries to fix the problems that are preventing Windows from loading. You can try this option also. Go back to the previous version. If you had recently installed a new Windows version, you could go back to the previous version. It might solve the boot error, but this option is only available if you had installed the new version in the last 10 days. Command Prompt. If none of the other options could resolve the issue, the command prompt is our last resort. We will use this option to perform some advanced troubleshooting. Each fix starts with opening the command prompt. 
Restore backup of essential system files. Open the command prompt. Now type C colon and hit enter. You can replace C with your system drive letter. Then type DIR and hit enter to make sure you are in system drive. You will see the Windows files and folders. Now type CD space Windows forward slash system32 forward slash config then hit enter to reach config directory. Then enter DIR to list all the files and folders. The reg back folder contains the backup of these essential files, so we need to store these files from the reg back folder. First, change the directory to reg back. Run cd reg back, then run dir to see the contents. We are going to restore these files to the config folder. If you don't see anything here, or if there is no data and you see zero here, this step will not work for you. You need to move to the next fix. Before replacing these files, we should take a backup of these files itself to revert in case of any issue. We will just rename these files so that they won't get replaced in the process. We need to rename Default, SAM, Security, Software, and System Files. Type REN space, file name space, then the file name and 1, then hit Enter. This way, we will remember that these are the backup files. Do this with all five files. Now move to the regback directory. Run cd regback. We need to copy the files to the config directory. To copy all these files, type copy space star dot star space dot dot. Now verify that the files are copied in the config directory. Now type exit and then restart your PC. Remove the bootable media like CD or DVD or USB device. Then boot your device with the hard drive. Hopefully, this will resolve the inaccessible boot device error. Uninstall recently installed update packages. The most common reason for the inaccessible boot device error is the faulty installation of the latest Windows updates. To remove these updates, select the command prompt option. Now type C colon and hit enter. You can replace C with your system drive letter. Now type this command here, then press enter. You can see it from the description. Make sure to change C with your system drive letter. This command will list all the packages that are installed on your system. Use the date field to identify the recently installed packages, then note down their complete names. To remove the package, see the command from description and type here. Then replace the package name with the most recent actual package name that you note down earlier. Press Enter. Now restart your PC and see if the problem is still there. If it is still causing an issue, repeat the same process to remove the next packages until the culprit package is found. Remove pending update packages. Because of the network issue or some other problems, some Windows updates can get forever stuck and remains pending. These unfinished updates could also result in the inaccessible boot device error. It is better to remove them permanently from the device. Open the command prompt as we discussed earlier. Enter C colon. You can replace C with your system drive letter. Type the first command from the description and press Enter. Do this with other two commands. Now, you have to move any pending updates into their own temporary folder to delete them. Type the fourth command from the description here. You will see the list of all packages. Now note down the name of packages with the pending install tag. Now type fifth command here. 
then press the Enter key to create a temporary folder. Finally, type the sixth command and press Enter to move the pending package into the temporary folder. Replace the package name with the one you noted down. Also, replace your system drive letter with C. Repeat this command with other pending packages. Now exit and check if your issue is resolved. If not, follow the next fix. Run the SFC scan. System File Checker tool scans your system for any errors and glitches and then resolves them. It could help you with the inaccessible boot device blue screen error. To run it, select the command prompt. Now type C colon and hit enter. You can replace C with your system drive letter. Type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. It will run the scan and apply the fixes if any issue is found. Exit and restart your PC. Run DISM tool. Open command prompt. Now type C colon and hit enter. You can replace C with your system drive letter. Type the command from the description. Replace C with your system drive. Press the Enter key. The scan will take some time to finish. Once it's done, restart the PC. Run Check Disk Tool. Check Disk Tool scans your hard drive for bad sectors and corruption. Open command prompt, type chkdsk space forward slash r space c colon and replace c with your system drive letter. Hit enter. If it prompts y or n, type y and hit enter key. Scan your system for malware. The malware infection could corrupt the system files and cause the inaccessible boot device error. So this is essential that you scan your PC with a reputed anti-malware such as Malwarefox and clean your computer. Once your PC is started, you can download and install Malwarefox anti-malware from the link in the description. Run its scan, then remove the detected threats. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.